high threshold of pain because of that roller derby type style stuff she was oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. And they are both back up. This is where both of these ladies belong. And again, that great Lucha Libre style. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh no, wait a second. Uh -oh. If Roxy is smart, she's got to go right oh, after her. That's oh, exactly she what does. she's doing. Yeah. sport to yeah. give her space. I appreciate that kind of sportsmanship Whoa. there. Ooh. Can't get mad at wrestling for being wrestling. And Roxy, you were saying, I'm trying to be nice. The final four of the oh. the crowd. The Ring of Honor Women's Division Champion is She caught her. Catches Roxy. Wow. Wow. Her down. Off the ropes. Going oh. home for Quinn. That knee yeah. again. Yep. Code Red. She stuck her. That's it. Two, three. Oh. Code of honor here, and these two women go way back. Look at the dichotomy of styles. Which is, Ooh, oh, nice bridge on the hammerlock. And not afraid to oh. fight it. Chains a homicide there. It's Alize. Oh, 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 oh. oh, not giving up that easy. Nicole was clearly reeling right there. Oh, Chains of Sarah right there. there. And then again. This, we're playing the whole game. Oh. Oh. Wow. Mitchino oh. Coot Driver. Two. The oh. boy almost getting to the final four. Oh. oh. Clancer oh. with the DDT! She's starting the engine here, Lenny, looking for the drive! Five! Oh. One, two, three! <gasps> and we are off here. No code of honor. Oh, close by here. Grabbing the hand. Up and over, rolls him through. One, two, ooh! ooh. Oh. Lamita has some big wins in his own right, including against the world champion, Vincito! Oh, God! Maybe he, whoop! Oh, you can make a mistake with it! Yeah, still has the oh. chance! Oh. And it's been Flamita who has been in control. There's a bit of the oh, Premeditated by Flamita. Oris able to stop herself. And there, there you go. go. Ray Oris up over. Whoa. Whoa. Here on the wow. Big time chair to the back. But Flamita has the grip. And come here. Oh, two and go. Oh. Wow. How can he even have the energy and the will to do this? Wow. Push a leg. Three. Yeah. I'm Quinn McKay, and I'm here to tell you about everything going on in Ring of Honor this week. We are coming off of Glory by Honor weekend, and what a weekend it was. The cage match, the title matches, the general unexpected things that happened. Go to Honor Club right now and relive the two-night extravaganza, and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And make sure to stay tuned, because we have a big match topping off this week's edition of Week by Week, as the bouncers take on Joe Keyes and Eric Martin in our exclusive match. To address the elephant in the room before we move on much further, I was unfortunately outmatched by the prodigy, Roxy, in our quarterfinals matchup. I'm not trying to make any excuses, because there simply are none to be made. But I can make a promise, and that's that the next time I have the honor to step into the ring with Roxy, I'll be ready. I am growing and learning all the time, so we will mark that match under the lessons column. I, for one, can't wait to see what's in store for us the next time. Now let's go to Roxy backstage after her victory. Brian Zane here backstage with Roxy. Roxy, congratulations advancing to the next round after a hard-fought match with Quinn McKay. What was going through your mind in that match? Well, Quinn is a friggin' spitfire. That was one of the toughest matches I've ever had. But, Brian, did I or did I not tell you that I was going to go very very far in this tournament. Well, you did say that, and you know, so far the prophecy is coming true on that. Uh, but have you given any thought to who you might be facing in the next round? Yes. So, on one hand, I have Max, which I'm pretty sure I've seen Max in my nightmares or something. On the other hand, I have Angelina, seven time champion, 20 year veteran, loves mind games. So on both hands, I have challenges. But Brian, I'm the prodigy. And after win, after win, I know that I can get another win. All right. Roxy's very confident going into the semifinals. Also on the latest edition of ROH TV, we saw another quarterfinal match as the Lucha Baddie Miranda Alizé defeated the Sacramento Suplex Machine, Nicole Savoy. Let's go to Miranda following the big win. Quarterfinal action continuing here with the Women's Championship Tournament well, and... Well, your star is here. How can I help you? Well, Miranda Alizé, no shortage on confidence. Hard-fought battle against Nicole Savoy. Uh, was it hard to fight your friend like that? Look, it's not hard for me to fight anybody unlike any other woman in this tournament. 
I have been fighting battles my whole entire life, and that's why I am so confident that I am going to win this tournament because I have been fighting, and unlike anybody else, I know exactly what I'm fighting for. She knows what she's fighting for, and that's the women's championship. Two wins away, possibly winning it all. The quarterfinals of the tournament to crown a brand new ROH Women's World Champion continue this weekend as we'll see a match I absolutely, positively cannot wait for. Angelina Love versus Max the Impaler. Let's take a closer look at that one. I am Angelina Love. I have been in this business for two decades. I'm a seven time Women's World Champion and a one time World Tag Team Champion. I feel like the women's tournament was made for me. We need to have a Ring of Honor Women's Champion, and why would it not be in the allure or on Angelina Love? I'm not threatened by anybody. I didn't get to where I am because I was worried or threatened. I got a buy in the first round. I think Maria might have maybe thought that was gonna be something that was difficult for me, but it was against Quinn McKay. To me, that was a cakewalk. It was easy. I got my buy, I knew it was gonna happen. Just like I know I'm going to win this tournament. As far as Max and Amy go, we worked with them to our advantage. And surprisingly, I was actually kind of taken aback by this. Amy just sauntered up and you know said that we owed her. I could not believe, believe that Amy had the audacity to ask me of all people to just give that up in a championship tournament. You don't become a seven time women's champion because you lay down and give it to other people. So that's a no. I might be small in stature, but my ego, we could say, might be a little bit bigger. And I think I have proven I am not to be messed with. I should be taken very seriously in the ring and in a tournament, no matter who I am facing. So beware and be expected to see my hand, Angelina Love, raised in victory as the first ever Ring of Honor Women's Champion. I for one think that that will be an incredible match. Five stars. Also this weekend on ROH TV, Allison Kay goes one on one with Trisha Dora to see who advances to the semifinals. Let's hear from both of these athletes right now. Round two of the Women's Division Championship Tournament. I have Trish Adora. I am so excited. It's Lariat versus Lariat, baby. She knows what's coming. I know what's coming. But at the end of the day, they all learn the same thing. AK, don't play. I got a tough second round ahead of me. Allison Kay has never met the Afrotech. I'm technically sound, period. Lariats to spare. And with my entire community on my back and my mother, we're taking it all the way to the top. Not only will you see those two big matches, but this weekend's main event will see the ROH Television Championship on the line. Climbing up the ranks for months now with big wins and impressive performances, Infinite Eli Isom gets his shot at the gold. That's right, Eli will challenge Dragon Lee for the ROH World Television Championship this weekend. Let's hear from both men now. Eli Isom, you are a good wrestler. I know about you, but the champion is here. The champion is back. I'm going to the fence. What I never lost. Because the dragon has awakened. For months, my sole focus has been the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. For months, I have climbed the ranks, and for months, I have looted every distraction and every obstacle that's been put in front of me. And that leads me to right here. One match, three seconds away from the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. And when I win, it will fulfill my promise, my promise I made to my father, to my sisters, to my mother. And as these tears fill my eyes, I can say with full confidence that I will beat Dragon Lee. I will become the Ring of Honor World Television Champion. That is my promise. 
As I said earlier, be sure to check out the two nights of Glory by Honor from Philadelphia right now on Honor Club. On night two, we announced some big matches for our next pay-per-view. As you know, Ring of Honor returns to Philly on Sunday, September 12th for Death Before Dishonor. And in the main event, we'll see the most wanted bandito living up to his nickname as he faces not one, not two, but three challengers that are currently in the world title rankings in a huge four-way elimination. It's Bandito defending against Brody King, EC3, and Demonic Flamita. Also at Death Before Dishonor, the finals of the ROH Women's Championship Tournament will take place and will crown a brand new champion. Plus, the technical beast Josh Woods will challenge for the ROH Pure Championship against the octopus Jonathan Gresham. La Facciona Gobernable will challenge for the six-man championships and go to war with Shane Taylor promotions. That will be incredible. Two wrestlers recently released from another organization will square off, but we can't announce their names until next week because of contracts and stuff and, and things. And a challenge has been laid out by Violence Unlimited for any pure wrestlers, past, present, and future, to step up and face them in a six-man tag at Death Before Dishonor. Details soon. I'll have more Death Before Dishonor info next week, but now let's check in with Joe Hendry for Joe Hendry's 60-second breakdown. I'm Joe Hendry, and this is the Technique Tuesday's 60-second breakdown. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Brody King's Gonzo Bomb. Not to be confused with the Ganzo Bomb, the Gonzo Bomb combines two of the most devastating moves in all of professional wrestling, the classic Power Bomb and the Pile Driver. He hits this, he's going to take it home. That's Gonzo it. Gonzo Bomb! That's it. Castle! That's Puts it. Puts the leg! Yep. Two! Three! Two absolute favorites in the business. Combining the two, you kick it off by holding your opponent in the dominator position made famous by Ron Simmons. Then, instead of flipping your opponent downwards face first towards the mat, what you do is instead you effectively power bomb them into the pile driver position. So you're effectively power bombing someone into a pile driver. Look, if Brody King hits you with the Gonzo Bomb, it is over. Brody King! Two! Thanks for watching. Three. This has been the 60 Second Breakdown. Before we wrap up, let's announce some future ROH TV matches, shall we? Like we talked about earlier this weekend, we have two quarterfinal matches in the women's tournament, plus Eli Isom versus Dragon Lee for the ROH TV title. In two weeks on Ring of Honor TV, we'll see the women's tournament semifinals and a huge eight-man tag team showdown with the Facciona Gobernable versus Shane Taylor promotions. Big time stuff coming up, and you can always count on us to deliver new content all the time. The latest ROH Strong podcast features Trish Adora. ROH Strong podcast host Kevin Eck breaks news all the time in his weekly X Vitals article on ROHWrestling.com. Other articles include a dose of Colemanism by Caprice Coleman and much more. Also, there's the best on the planet 24-7 streaming channel on the Stir and Plex apps, plus some cool merch at shophonor.com. And share your thoughts and opinions about all things, as always, in our ROH Facebook group and hashtag Choose Your Honor. Again, check out last weekend's Glory by Honor events from Philadelphia right now on Honor Club. There are so many things coming out of this weekend. It's going to be extremely interesting to see where both Matt Taven and Vincent go now after their last stand. But now it's time for this week's exclusive match. It's Eric Martin and Joe Keats taking on the Beer City Bruiser and the man that calls himself the best pound for pound pure wrestler in ROH, Brian Malonis. Like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon down below. I'm Quinn McKay, and I'll see you next week on Week by Week. Welcome everyone to Baltimore, Maryland. Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman. We're here coming at you with an exclusive Week by Week bout. We hope you enjoyed Glory by Honor. Great two nights in Philadelphia, Caprice, but we're coming at you with a big time tag team bout. And you have Brian Malonis has been saying the, the, the pure division, a big man who who's, we know is a brawler, but you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. I'll, yeah. I'll take it to Bobby Cruz. This is a week by week exclusive tag team match. Tip for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. 
Team number one in the year, accompanied by Ken Dixon. And a combined weight of 728 pounds. Brian Mullins, the Beer City Reserve, the Bouncer. And you know what, I noticed something in particular, Capri, 728. Brian Mullins is losing a bit of weight. Good for him. He's getting himself in great shape. He's taking this pure stick seriously. He is taking it pure. He says pound for pound, he is the greatest pure wrestler at Ring of Honor. You can't deny that, but he has to prove it. He does, and, and to do that, maybe get a little bit quicker on his feet. He's taking that seriously. I like the shape he's getting into. Some noticeable body changes in a good way for Malonis, but after what they did to us out here a couple of weeks ago, they took my glasses, they took my handkerchief. I, I don't know about these guys. Now, if they took your glasses and stuff, maybe you're really not noticing the change in your glasses. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just asking. I'm, I, I could appreciate that comment. And they will have their hands full here today, facing two rising stars from the ROH Dojo. Their opponents at a combined weight of 450 pounds. They're representing the ROH Dojo and being accompanied by Will Ferrara, the team of Joe Keys and Eric Martin. And that's one thing Malonis is big about is his win over Joe Keys. He feels like that's his proof that he belongs to the pure division. Did you see? Was that who I thought? Did you see that man that just won? Was it? Oh, come. Oh, jeez. Right. Keep my ass. Woo! I'm pure, baby. I'm the a rascal, baby. Come on, boy. Fans, it, it appears Rocco is joining us I mean, I'm just gonna punch you both here. We got slot. Is he for, is he's really oh, joining us? He's, he's really joining us. Hey, hey, let's focus. Already, let's Rocco can. He beat you already, didn't he? Malonis offered and got the code of honor. I'm a little flustered right now, Caprice. I don't know. Do we give this guy a headset? I guess we give him a headset. I don't know. He's grabbing the headset. He's grabbing it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Did somebody tell you to come out here? What? Did somebody tell you to come out here? Do you need permission for this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought this, I had a lot of head access to the entire building. Oh my yeah. goodness. Was I wrong? Is that incorrect? You were. Okay. Well, actually, what happened was I was asking Quinn McKay for directions to the interview booth. And uh, the direction she gave me led me right here. Oh, what a no. pleasant surprise. Oh, well, we have Brian Malonis in the ring with Eric Martin. Brian Malonis, 1-0 in the Pure Division, has defeated Joe Keyes. Rocco, I've seen your commercials. Have you, uh, have you, had, any, have you had any takers for takers? Your, 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 uh, your managerial services? Oh, I, I, the phone's off the hook, Ricky Bones. All day long, all night long. The problem wow. is Malonis I'm is wrestling. Drop toe hold there into a side headlock. The problem is guys like the Bouncers, they turned it down a couple of weeks ago. Well, the pro well yes, but the main problem is I'm never in the office, so I miss a lot of these calls, oh. right? So it's just I got so many things to do, right? It's just Two. I, I just realized who this dude was. Yeah. He's, the dude. He, he's that Rocco. I got you. Yeah, he's, I got you. he's that Rocco. I, got you. I am notable. I'm kind of famous around these parts here, you know. It's just okay. I recognize you now. Oh, good. So this will be easy. I don't got to do too many introductions here. I was going to be worried here. And Brian Malone is really, uh, really wrenching that in. And you know what? At over 400 pounds, a side headlock, you can squeeze your head like a grape. I'll give him that. I want to know what Martin had in mind by trying to send Malone to the ropes. What did he, if he was successful at that, what would have happened? Yeah, right, well, nice drop down. To, to be fair, Martin is a big dude by normal standards. That's a nice leapfrog there. Beautiful, Beautiful drop, kick. drop kick. About six feet, three inches tall. You're right. I, I'm agreeing with Rocco. Six it, feet, three inches tall. It's not every day you run into a giant like Malone. It's probably weird for him, a little unnatural, if you will. Kind of like Rocco winding up on commentary with us. That kind of unnatural? Or? Oh, don't worry. It'll be natural soon enough. You'll get used to it. You will love me. So, Caprice, what do you think right now about Ken Dixon being on the outside? What do you think he adds to the bouncer team? Well, I think Kenny is like the ultimate wild card out there, right? You just don't know what he's going to do. I mean, really, this guy has no well concern for his own personal being, which is terrifying for an opponent because he'll just do anything. Show him. Beer City Bruiser tagged in. We ain't pure wrestling, boys. No, I want to fight. Caprice, what do you think? What, what style do you think is going to win out here? The fighting of the Beer City Bruiser or the pure wrestling of Joe Key? Well, I was thinking that if they but have it. Really, it's going to be the pure wrestling. Now, if Joey Keys was in there with Malonis, a pure wrestler by trade, this would be a little bit difficult. But uh, Beer City, he's a little out of his element right now, especially the longer this goes. I mean, Joey Keys has got the stamina. He's got the looks. My goodness, I could put that kid on a billboard. Oh, he'd be such an easy client to manage. Bruiser, maybe radio, I'm thinking. Uh, I, I, 
I said Mike Capri boy. specifically because he interrupted yeah. you Come last on. time. Yeah. Well, Step up like a man. No, my name's you Rocco. R O C C O. Thank you, though. It's, 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 shot, it's easy to confuse. I know I haven't been out here very Come much. On, give me the first shot. Give me one. Look at this, Joe Keys being goaded into fighting. Oh! There you go, Joe. That's a oh. That's a shot on the bruiser. See, he's already got no Oh, he already had that. Yeah. Come on, right here. Do it again. Great minds think alike, Chris. Oh! That one got him. Oh. You better work on those, Joe Keys. Yeah, his bruiser staggering a little bit. That might have hurt Keys more than hurt Bruiser, though. You see, Joey's going away from the pure rules. It's going to hurt him. He's trying those straight punches, which are outlawed anyways. If he just sticks to what he knows, sticks to what Willie Ferrara has trained him for, like right here, here we go. Oh, but he's going right across the face here. And those open forearms are legal. Well, here's what I think was happening is Bruiser's asking for Joe Keys, underestimate him, and Joe Keys is giving it to him. He didn't have the ring rope. He did not have he the tag. Oh, but come on, Ken Dixon. Oh, that's the wild card. Oh. <laughs> Able to grab the hair. Will look Ferrara will, on the outside. Both men license seconds here. Spear City Bruiser says, Gates wow. up and over. Rocco, since you're here, is there any resentment that the Beer City Bruiser and Brian Malonis, Ken Dixon, turned down your beer? Honest? Well, I think what happened was when he got the phone call, they saw who it was and they didn't answer because they didn't want to. Uh, I like what you did there, but honestly, no. Um, that, I bought the cheapest beer possible, so really they were the only ones that was going to drink that swell. So it was a very low risk proposition for me. I mean, we're just going to get thrown out either way. I mean, so but, do you invest in this stuff? Oh yes, I'm, I'm like a, my own startup venture. You gotta spend oh, money to make that. money, you know. Ken Dixon, the, the beer in the wow. face. Disrespect that Beer City Brew right in the face of Ken Dixon. That's got to be interference, though, if Todd saw it. Out of the purview of Todd, you're absolutely right. Todd did not see that. Tell you what, man, I asked for the, the Bruiser wants to have more aggression to be more active, but I wasn't expecting this. And it's like, be careful what you, hey man, that's a good headlock takeover. Did you hear Bruiser saying punch him, punch him, and he just yeah. grabs a hole? See, I'm really excited to see Malonis as a pure wrestler. It's it's Gresham's division where Johnny's got the best shoulders yeah. in the business and a counter to moves that haven't been made yet. But how are you going to counter a guy you can't move? This is, this is a question. Yeah. You know? yeah. See, he couldn't even light, lace in the head scissors. He couldn't. He couldn't lace it in. Head, the neck, the shoulders. Oh, God. So this is what Malonis is talking about. He's like, a lot of these moves just don't even apply to me. Right? And I didn't believe him. I'm being honest. Yeah. But I'm, I'm seeing it now. And look at the instigator, the agitator, Ken Dixon, who turned his back on Martin and Keys a couple of months ago. But here, here's the thing in the pyramid match, though. You pour something, you interfere in the match, you get you're, fired. You're fired, yeah. So he won't be out there when Malonis. Well, if he is, he's got to resist that temptation or else he's gone. Like I said, total wild card. I don't think this guy cares if he gets fired. He's just out there to have a good time and hurt people. It's terrifying, really. What do you mean he doesn't care if he gets fired? I, I mean, Kenny Dixon's lost a lot of brain cells to beers over the years, right? So there's not a lot of rational Ooh. thought going there, you know. Um, but it works in his favor. It does work in his favor. And Will Ferrara trying to keep Ken Dixon out of the match, but Dixon was able to get another shot in on Joe Keyes. Will is frustrated, man, and Will has a short temper. He's not going to let too much of that go on. But he'll be okay. Willie Ferrara, excellent ROH Dojo coach. Uh, credit score is 773. Ricky you Bones, give, how do you know his credit? Why would give you that do out that? I have my that. sources. Uh, Ricky Bones, I know you use a 682. I, 682? Why would you even say there are, that? There are things you could learn from Willie. He's a coach to us all. Coach to us all. He's very good, very good. Will Ferrara is an excellent trainer, excellent coach. I'll give him that. How do you know his credit score? You got to give me some credit, but I, I know you don't have much to spare. Oh, look at that, too. <laughs> Did you wow. see him stack him up? Did you see him? Brian Malonis is wrestling. Is wrestling. Oh, yes. He's Mr. Pure Wrestler himself. He told you this. Do you guys not listen to Malonis? It's, it's not a matter of listening. It's a matter of seeing what he's talking about. When, now the, he's proven. when the 400 pan, pound man in the room speaks, I tend to listen to him. I just, it's just rule of thumb, you know? That's what he wants. Irish whipping in the corner sends Joe Keys down to the mat. Uh-oh, this, this is not going to be good news for anybody. <laughs> and Ken Dixon taunting his former partner, Eric Martin, as Eric Martin's current partner. Would this be a pure leg drop? Oh. The purest. Oh! 
that oh is God. unfortunate. <laughs> Purely painful is what that is. Look at Pierce City Bruiser, though. Bruiser here on the outside. I bet you he's feeling that pound for pound. <laughs> oh! oh. Uh, them show, them uh, ring posts don't bend, you know? It's just. Hey, the ring moved, dog. Hey, Jeez, that's the 350 pound man. It's Keith trying to make a tag. No. Can he do it? He's having to fight two on one. He's trying to kick, claw, punch, and get his way to the corner. Makes the oh. tag to Eric Martin. Comes the big man, Eric Martin. Yeah. Eric Martin. Taking out Brian Malonis. Cover. Just a one count there. And Martin not afraid to fight. He is a fighter. Oh. What he's trying to do is get keep Malonis from getting to his feet. It's very smart. A lot of times you get the big man down, you try to keep him down. Don't let him get back to his feet. It's very smart wrestling. Hooks the leg, two. And that shows you just how tough it is to cover Malonis. He can barely uh -oh. get right that back. Leg. There he's uh -oh. up. This is no good for uh, Bruin. He he's staying on him. That's what you got to do. He's staying on him. And Bruiser's hurt on the outside. Stay on top of Malonis here. Pushes him off. Great separation. Charges in. Knee to the face there. Eric Martin, six feet, three inches tall. Malonis. Martin can win this thing. He could get Malonis Martin down. Martin can win this thing. Whoa. But Mal Malonis is gassed, and Martin's got energy for days. For days. And Will Farrar right there saying, stay with him, stay with him. Oh, he's going to try and slam him. He's going to try and slam him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He was never the smartest Cran in the box, you know? <laughs> smartest Cran? What? Oh. As Malone's high crossbody. You know, some colors look very smart, you know? Like the suit I'm wearing right now. It's a very smart looking suit. Bring Eric Martin now to his. On to his stomach here. Uh oh. I, I give up. Oh, oh. Clutch. Yeah, I give up. 400 pounds I, pressing I down on the back, and that's it for Eric Martin. Spine's gonna snap. Oh, look oh. Here. Watch this. Bam. The winners of this match by submission, the Bouncers. I tell you what, if you lock that on anybody, they giving up. There's no way. Uh, pound for pound, are you kidding me? Pound for pound at over 400. Brian Malonis gets a submission victory for the Bouncers. And Ken Dixon with the beer holster. I'll tell you what, man, this whole match, Bruiser was fighting, and Malonis was wrestling, and Malonis won wrestling. Martin's in a bad way. It's, if I was Will and Joe, I'd get out of there right now. There's just nothing good that's gonna come out of this. Get out of there. And Malonis, code of honor in here, too. Disappointing loss. And extended. Your winners, the bouncers, were Caprice Coleman, Quinn McKay, and Rocco, R-O-C-C-O, oh, and Rick Capani. <laughs> Happy wrestling, everybody. Pound for pound. Pound for oh, pound. The best pure you. wrestler on the planet. Tell John Gresham. Yeah. <laughs> well, go, yeah. I love Why are they up here? Oh. Hey, what are you doing, man? Hey, leave him alone. Look at that. Did you see that? He ain't nerd about it. Get your hands off. Back Why are you off? messing with him? Sit down. Why are you touching him? Sit down. Leave him alone. Did you see that? You're going to start talking hey. about the bouncer. What's your problem, man? And Ken Dixon. All right, right, hey, come over here. Sit down if you know Why I'm fighting for you. Why you got to be over here? Just outnumbering somebody. We're no doing more. Stuff. Why you got to be over here? With violence or the foundation, we have the pound for pound best beer wrestler with us. Get your hands off of him. Fighter in Ring of Honor. Go fight somebody. He's not a Start wrestler. Start talking about Leave him alone. Leave him alone! You leave him alone! You better back, you better back up to what you better do. What's wrong with y'all, man? Get my freaking thing back. Freaking problem. Take your hair. Punk. You alright, man?